The one main question we had is what is a game plan? So, <clears throat> a game plan, you should enter every single trade with a game plan. Um, we've been seeing a lot of bad habits form because the market's so easy. And I get, I get like, these private DMs about, like, oh, no, I bought this stock. Uh, it's coming back to my price. What do I do? And it's like, uh, you should never be in that situation because you should always, you shouldn't click a button without having a game plan. Now, a game plan res all, all revolves around, um, let's look at DraftKings, for example. And it depends on your time frame. The, the macro time frame on this... DraftKings, we were trying to buy this 63 area. We were trying to give it to this 57 area, so we're risking six bucks. So we want to make, let's say, 30 on the upside for the five to one. But uh, we, you want your risk to be quantified in a game plan so that you know where your upward price targets are, you know where you're looking to take profit, and and it, out of the most important part is that it cuts out the emotions. You know where you're selling it if everything goes wrong. You know where you want to buy the stock. You know where you want to take profit. So a game plan, the idea of it is just taking all the thinking out. You do all the thinking beforehand, so then when you buy the stock and emotions get involved, you're not making any improper decisions based off emotions. That's why we game plan so hard. So yeah, so like what Shake said, the three main things regarding game plan. First, you want to know your entry. So like for DraftKings, Shake was saying he was looking to buy 63. The stop is where we want to know where we're going to get out and for wrong. And then from there, we determine our target, which is going to be five times, what we aim for is at least five times the risk. We're risking $1 a share, we're buying 63, we're looking to sell it at $68, $5 higher. If we're risking you know, five points, it's the same thing. So you want to know your entry. From there, you want to know where you want to get out when you're wrong. And then lastly, you want to determine where you should be selling for profit when you're right. So that's a simple game plan. Um, hopefully that helped address that question we kept getting asked in uh, the Getting Started group this week.